Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about at log Lombok annotation, right? So at log Lombok annotation is really important when you want to write some kind of logging uh, in your application, right? To basically a log, an important message in your application, either you can set up a, a log4j or SLF4j or some other uh, logging framework, right? Like logback and all, right? So when, uh, if you are already using Lombok in your uh, project, right, Lombok project, if you are already using in your project, then uh, Lombok basically provides a very important annotation is called at log, right? So once you annotate your class with uh, this annotation, then you'll get the ready-made field. A uh, field name is called at uh, a log with a small letter, right? And it is a basically a starting and final uh, field, right? So basically in typical scenario when you use uh, SLF4j or log4j or logback then how you create this reference right log. So you basically uh, you will have a factory method something like a get log and there you can pass your class name and that's how you get the this reference and then after you can call like uh, log.info, log.debug, log.error and then more message right to log in message. So similarly log uh, basically uh, Lombok provides you at log already we have talked uh, talked about it also provides at log 4j or uh, at log 4j2 so this is for log 2 lo, uh, i mean log 4j2 similarly you have a slf 4j and you have a at custom log as well right now if you look into the example here you can see uh, in example this class is annotated as at log and afterwards uh, it, uh, it is using at log dot or you can use log dot info info etc right now, once you annotate your class at uh, SLF4j, then you are free to use uh, a logging message. Even you don't need to create a field log, right? Directly, this is a ready-made static final field. You may use common log as well, right? And this is how vanilla vanilla Java code you write, right? First of all, uh, if you if you are not using log, uh, I mean Lombok, then you need to create this reference, right? Uh, something like this. So this boilerplate code you don't need to really write when you write a uh, Lombok project, right? When you use, use, use Lombok project in your project, right? So let's try to understand through an example. So here, let's say I would like to use, here I have written a print, I mean SOP, right? Uh, so here instead of SOP, I would like to write a log message, then I will annotate this class as using add log. And import should happen from Lombok extern.java, right? And Lombok dependency already I have added in my class path, right? If I would have not used uh, this Lombok, then I would have to add some kind of a logging dependency, right? Like log4j or some other uh, dependency I need to add, right? And here, uh, once you annotate this class, then you have already, already you have something is called, let me put this here. Already you have a log reference, L-O-G. This is a, a, a static and final reference, right? And here you can call info right to accept a string as an argument so this is an object so to convert into a, st a string this object just you can call that to a string method right and that's it so that's how you can call even you can use severe message uh, severe as well right uh, you can use severe uh, uh, method inside this logger right already we have seen so i would say log dot severe right and there also you can log you can log some message like and of the class and of the main method main method right something like this right and if i run then you'll see it will print log in nice format so here you can see it, it first log uh, uh, uh so so this log message this log message came from because of this and right so there are three log messages right so this is getting printed because of this guy, right? After that, we are calling info, right? So because of info, it is getting printed something like this, right? Something like this. Uh, it is getting printed something like this, right? So this is getting printed because a student dot two string I have written. So it is printing basically time stamp, right? When this program is executed, this is qualified name of your uh, class and this is the main method and this is the value which is getting printed info level right because we have in, used info 
and after that whenever we use sieve here then this getting printed of course it again printing uh, time stamp qualified name of class and main method and this message we are printing right which is on the severe level right so that's how basically loggers work you have to write minimum code even if you are using uh, let's say if you are using uh, a spring boot then a spring boot has a very nice nicely you can integrate lombok with a spring project so if i go to the add dependency and here if i search for lombok then here easily you can see the lombok dependency and saying that java annotation library which helps to reduce boilerplate code right so if you are using a spring boot application there also you can use lombok dependency and you can uh, avoid writing a lot of boilerplate code what we have learned uh, about uh, lombok in the past videos right so that's all i wanted to say in this video tutorial guys big thank you and see you there in the next tutorial